Hey, what is up, guys? Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a live commentary. It's going to be me in a singles match. And what I'm going to try to do is give you guys a lot of tips and tricks on how to play certain maps in singles. I believe this first map here is going to be Octane. So a lot of you guys that watch my stream kind of got like a general idea of what I do. But I'm going to go more in depth in this gameplay. And I'm going to explain why I do things. Um, more than just one strat, I'm going to do different things each and every round to give you guys an idea to help improve your singles game as well. But real quick, I want to go over the uh, the class setups I use. So I always put an AR on top because of the class switch. So say I want to get somewhere real quick. I'll use um, a Marathon Agility class, and I'll just hit Start, AA, and then it'll automatically go to my Remington. That's if I want to class switch to a Remington. I don't really see why, you guys, why you'd want to start with a Remington and switch to an MTAR. That just doesn't make much sense to me. Most people class switch to uh, run faster, so that's why I always have my Remington on top. And I, as you can see, I have three of the same exact MTAR classes. Um, almost the exact same. So right here, if the you always want to counter what the opponent is using. I always start off with this class right here with Tack Resist because I hate being stunned. So if I see uh, they're not using no equipment such as stuns and they're using frags instead, I'll go ahead and go one class down and I'll use Blast Field instead of Tack Resist. If I see they're not using stuns or nades, I'll go ahead and use this class and use Steady Aim with no attack resist or blast shield so it's all about countering the opposing team so uh those are my three main classes four singles i uh i don't use any stuns i find them kind of pointless so i just use frags instead and um what else am i missing oh that's about it. every once in a while i'll use a bison ready up and also guys i really don't think ready up is that useful for 1v1s because the way i play i usually got an idea of where they're gonna be at and i'm usually waiting for them so there's not there's not very many of them close engagements where I wish I would have got my gun up faster. So that is why I choose not to use ready up in uh, 1v1 situations. So hopefully this guy starts it up here soon and we can get right into this. But like I said, alright, I know. But uh, like I said, I'm going to go more in depth on how to play each map. And if you guys watch this video and you end up playing me and you use it against me, I will hate you. But that's alright. But I'm just trying to help you guys out because I like to think I'm pretty good at 1v1 just because I think a lot while I play. 1v1s are all about predicting and thinking and uh, having some good strats to use and knowing why you do things. Alright, so I believe I'm going to have defense this first round right here. Yeah. Oh, Alright guys, that was not me farting, I swear. That was my chair. My squeaky ass chair. Oh great, we got a nice minute countdown. Hooray. Search and destroy. Alright guys, so go ahead and take a look at this mini map. They spawn in the bottom left hand corner. That guy can either go out to the right or to the left. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rush mid map and we're gonna go be we're gonna jump on top of the tank. We'll be able to see if he goes out to the right, our left, to cross the B and we'll also be able to see if he pushes uh mid map so right off break here on this map just on our good on our on our defense we can get them trapped in literally one corner of the map now keep in mind if they know you're doing this they uh, may go top stripper to try to counter you or they may head glitch the hummers over here so that's something to keep in mind and uh be prepared for all right so this is my strategy number one on defense you guys are about to see it right here let's see how it plays out Right. Go. Go straight through here. I always want to have marathon agility on so you get here quick enough. And you just want to hop right on this tank. And then he was ready for it. See, we got him trapped right now. He is the end stripper. There he is right there to the left. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to nade him real quick. You're the only one left. Remember your training. Alright, now keep in mind, we still got him trapped. We don't have to push him. He has to come to us. So right now, there's literally not much he can do. Time's almost up. There he is. He crossed the B, but I think that might he might be trying to juke me. He might go top hotel on me, I'm thinking. Nope. Let's go ahead and go check. This. Oh, yep, I knew it. I knew it. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to sneak up on him. I don't think he'll expect me to be right here. All 
Alright, now I have no idea where this guy is at. Just turned into a clusterfuck at this point. Let's go ahead and up there he is. Let's go! Excellent job, team. Get ready for the next Alright, so as you can see, this guy is probably one of my viewers and he expected me to go on top of the tank like that. So it would have worked out a lot better if I wasn't playing somebody who has watched me before. But that's alright. Because we're going to switch it up next defense. And I'll show you guys some other good setups to use if uh, the guy you're playing catches on to what you're doing. So here on defense, Destroy what I like to do, our offense, my bad, pushman map right here. Get a good overview of the map. See if you see him pushing out a pawn. If you don't see him, they're usually going to be bottom gas right here. Just basically doing what I do. <laughs> If you don't see them coming out of pawn, I'd say 90% of the time round. they're going to be in this gas area or in broken. So you always want to come around here L triggering because that's probably where they're going to be at. And if they're not right there, they'll probably be inside gas watching the cross. Switching sides. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys a different defense setup that I like to use. Surge and destroy. We're going to run straight across here to this blue dumpster. Defend the objective. Alright. I always have a marathon agility on once again. Run straight across here to the blue dumpster. Now you're just in a crouch and you got you can see if he crosses the broken. So we automatically got him trapped on one half of the map. And if he does plant at A bomb, you'll be able to hear him. Complete the mission. Right soldier. here. You're the we only just, one left. We just spotted him here at B Dom. Let's go ahead and give him a teabag. Yeah boy. <laughs> Excellent job, team. Get ready right. for the next so, round. So that's a pretty good. That's another really good defensive setup, guys. Uh, you get there and you can see him cross the broken, and uh, you can sound whore a bomb. The only t the only uh, counter to that is if they push through B and they come Switch behind you, which may happen, may not, but Search risk you're gonna have to take some time. So here is another offensive strat I like to use. Um, I forgot to tell you guys about the double smoke class, we got the bomb. but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna push towards B bomb we're gonna smoke it smoke right on the bomb throw another smoke past it and now we're gonna straight just push through the smoke last man standing finish it oh shit that didn't work out too well we I, I we threw horrible smokes this. right there but if you throw better smokes usually you can get through without him seeing you oh those were terrible 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 smokes Switching sides. All right, so defense. Uh, what are we gonna do this round? Oh yeah, this is another uh, setup I like to use. I don't use this one too often, but we'll go ahead and try it out. We're gonna rush top pawn. As soon as we get to the top of the ladder, we're gonna class switch. Oh shit. Switch to our AR. Now we're gonna sit right like this. We got him trapped behind stripper. At least I believe so. He could have. He could have maybe crossed a broken. Oh, damn! We lost that I was busy talking right there, and this. I didn't. I wasn't really paying attention to my screen. But I should have probably seen him right there. That's my fault. Well, you guys get the point. You get it. The whole object for defense is to get them trapped off the start. You never want to play singles not knowing where the guy is. You always want to cut off the map and narrow it down, make it a smaller map, basically. We got the bomb. So this round on offense, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did round one. Push straight across. This time I'm gonna rush straight through broken. Now I'm gonna check bottom gas before I go plant. Last man standing, finish it. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the B. Oh yeah, and this is this is called the super lap while I'm about to show you guys right here. Hopefully it works out well. But what I like to do, always plan it on the front side like that. If you're planning on doing the super lap. If not, it doesn't matter where you plan it. And you're just gonna pray to Jesus. I just seen him right there mid-map, but you're gonna pray he doesn't get a ninja defuse, which he won't because we just seen him. And we're gonna go ahead and do a lap. We just seen him bottom hotel right there. And now it's a little bit harder on the Xbox One. But you guys get the idea. We got eyes on bomb right now. And now we're just gonna kill him when he gets off it. Tango down. Excellent job, team. Get ready for the next Tango. round. Tango. 
On uh, the 360, it's a lot easier for that spot, guys, because uh, 18 wheeler isn't blown up. You can see under it a lot better. Switching sides. But Xbox One is a little bit sketchy. Alright, so uh, and destroy. let's go ahead and try another defense. Uh, a lot of the time, people will, will post objective. up at the Hummers right over here and uh, wait for us to go tank. So a good way to... Uh, wait, he's pushing across right here. Alright, so he just rushed broken. Let's go ahead and try chasing him. I knew it! I knew it! Ah! Ah! Excellent job, team. I had a feeling that that's why I was just about to say I'm going to jump shot and make sure he's not in this corner right here. As you guys will see, I purposely jump shot right here, thinking he's going to be in the corner. Because that's, that's what people do a lot of times. So They'll rush broken and wait for you to chase them. Switching sides. So always be aware of that. But other times, they could just push straight through and go for the plant. So, kind of sticky situation there. All right, but uh, since we uh, do have a good specials going, we're not going to switch to an AR. We're going to go top pawn or top stripper, and we're going to see if he pushes out tank. All right, there he is, mid map. We just got a got an angle on him. Now we're just got him trapped right now in mid map. Go ahead and nade him, D Dom, just to flush him out of there. It's all up to you now. The squad's counting on you. All right, so we still got him. We got him trapped right on the other side of this thing. Now I'm debating whether I should push him. Or I should just wait him out. Time's almost up. What do you guys think? Because we really know right where he's at. He, he's gonna move sooner or later. There we go. And that's the hot six two. Alright guys, well I really hope you learned something. I know I lost a few rounds, but that's alright. Uh hopefully I improved your singles game. You guys can um try out some of my strategies, incorporate it into your own gameplay. Uh, feel free to make any changes you want. You guys don't got to use my exact routes, my exact setup. Uh, do whatever you feel comfortable as. And I hope you guys improve your singles game as much as possible. Peace.